All right, we're good to go. Really? Yeah, the sheriff gave her the old Alabama slammer. I'm pretty sure she's a <laughs> girl. <laughs> the Alabama slammer. <laughs> we haven't done that in years. Good luck. Hi. 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 My question is, what is the best prank you pulled on Alexander? <laughs> hey, by the way, round of applause for Alexander. I think y'all are the first, uh, I think y'all are the first people to meet him, right? No, uh, second. second. Uh, yes, yeah, second. <laughs> uh, yeah, second. <laughs> I feel, so we've had people on the show who talk about it's really intimidating to come on our show, which is funny because we're like, what the fuck? My microphone is broken. <laughs> we're like, what are you talking about? Um, we're goofy, we're silly. Um, um, so, but I think they're like, well listen, you guys are so comfortable with the crew, you know everybody by name, you know their kids, their wives, their husbands, their friends, so it's difficult to walk onto the show and kind of immerse yourself. You know, we're, we're making jokes before takes and during takes, and everybody's like, oh, I don't know what to do. So he came on the show, and he's a very hardworking guy. He's a lot like Misha, where he came on, he's playing a character that's different than himself, and he, he's a serious actor. And then he shows up and comes with us, and Jensen's talking about like, Reagan. Son of a bitch. Some stuff. And baby driver and baby driver, and Lisa found a friend. Before the deputy was killed. Holden, well, who's driving? That's Baby Driver. <laughs> Come on, my dog. <clears throat> Holden, who's driving? That's Mini Driver. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're, we're not, we don't really, these days we don't prank specifically. We more just kind of mess with them while they're on the camera. Which is a really an awful thing to do to another human being, but suck it. However, Misha just, Misha said, uh, on Friday, uh, he said that when you first started working on the show, uh, that we were being such idiots and, and being so not professional. And he said that, he, in, you know, to himself, he was thinking, he's like, Oh my gosh, is, is this actually what's happening here? Like, is this, how, how does this happen? Like, how does, how do they get any work done? Like, I, like, I can't believe that these guys are just like, this loosey-goosey on set and like, aren't really like, concentrating. Like, and that was when he first came on. Now, he says, if we are concentrating and serious, he doesn't know how to do his job. <laughs> He's like, oh god. It's like, what's going on? Something's wrong. They're not trying to pull my pants off. <laughs> they're, they're not kicking me as I walk by them anymore. Why? What is happening? All right, we're good to go. Really? Yeah. The uh, sheriff gave her the old Arabian goggles. <laughs> This is right about the time where Alex is like, wait, how many episodes do I have to do this year? I just love that we've created an environment like that. <laughs> where people are nervous if they're not being abused. Yeah. <laughs> Spade has uh, said the same things. He's like, why aren't y'all messing with me? What's going on? Like, what, what's, what's y'all dashingly like? Which is the ultimate prank. <laughs> it takes a while. And you really have to commit to it, but eventually the payoff is just not doing anything. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you, I love you guys.
Love you, bye. It's getting worse, not better. That's the problem. Hey, it never gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, um, I just want to say that I love you both very much, and I think, I believe I speak on behalf of everyone in this room that we're all thankful for everything that both of you have done for the Supernatural family. <laughs> so, my question is, is if you guys can tell a story of a prank that you guys have pulled behind the scenes. <laughs> There's more coming down the pipe that we'll see. I think, I, I believe they called it uh, Hazing Part One. Right for the yeah. So, Initiation Part One? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, there will be more parts. Um, they, it's Sheriff, I gave her the old Alabama slammer. I'm pretty sure she's in there. <laughs> the Alabama slammer? <laughs> we haven't done that in years. It's so specific, it's more spur of the moment. I, I laugh constantly because we have, like this episode, we have a lot of uh, actors and actresses in it, and they're all very talented. The man's happy to got a who's who of uh, like, fine actors that I think should work in the past and fans of this and that to come to me on the show. Uh, and it's it's it makes me laugh to see them watch us and we're goofing around and this and that they call action and we break into character and go, like, wait, wait, what what? Wait, we we we're shooting what? <laughs> on, sort of like a couple steps behind us, much like I was the end of so off the top of my head it's not thinking of any it's more just we have a good time. We we uh, the people who Come on our show, which is wonderful. They're always like, "Hey, y'all have a great set. Like, this is a great place to be, fun place to work." Um, and I think I'm trying to keep it. Nothing malicious. Just sort of like moving around. <laughs> we had a we had a scene the other day with Misha, and and it was just three of us. And uh, this is a Benjamin's blade. Is that an orgasm? We have to go. You know what? <laughs> I almost, almost there, man. Did the bunker's warding just fail? Did the bunker's warding? <laughs> she was like, what's going on? Because we were literally allowing him to get through his coverage without us changing our yeah, dialogue. It's, it's, it's really concerning. Without I'm really nervous. kicking him in the crotch or whatever it is. Um, and I just remember going like, this is one of our better pranks. And we, 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 you know you mess with somebody a lot when you watch it and you're know, like, something's wrong. What? Why aren't you throwing anything at me? Why aren't you kicking me? Beneath the camera. And I, don't, I don't think it was for any reason. I think, yeah. I, I think we were tired. We were like, oh, are we are we busy trying to deal with something? So like in between shots or something, we were we were dealing with something that was requiring more of our attention. Um, and so we just forgot to mess with him that day. <laughs> and it really threw him off. So yeah, the pranks are less planned and they're just more just kind of impromptu and uh, more just us being super idiots. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Supernaturals. <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural super idiots. <laughs> Supernatural super idiots. <laughs> you can have the couch if you want. I don't sleep much. Oh, I... I don't sleep at all. Oh. Mm. Mm. It begins. <laughs>
I was doing all this shit like trying to bite my cheeks and things like that to try to not laugh. And, it... and it's interesting now because um, Alex is <laughs> Jack. Is now trying to do anything and everything that he can not to break, and he's going to that, that to that that idea of like I'm going to get fired, like I I, I can't. Yeah, I mean, why, why am I why am I laughing? Why am I breaking? Why why is this? Why am I allowing these idiots to get to me? <laughs> Idiot. Um, <laughs> Really just guilt by proximity at this point. I don't help. Put it that way. The first scene that we all had together um, was a really, it was like, I, cause I've been through this now for years and years, uh, almost a decade. You didn't want to switch up the duds? You just looked like a pedophile. <laughs> that is not nice! <laughs> that easy! You didn't want to switch up the duds? Put on something a little bit more casual, you know? Please, you want to be idiot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> where every time we're in a scene together, I'm basically abused by the crew. <laughs> and it's very hard. There was at that one time when you actually apologized to me the next day because it was so bad. Remember that? <laughs> um, <laughs> I legitimately fell back. Yeah, back there. I feel as you should. Like it was. It went to a point of no return. Yeah. And we didn't stop. And, and um, and so I've been through that, and I know the pain, and I know the pain of the fact that the director is always in another room watching on the monitors. So they don't see the shit that your guys you're doing off they, camera. They just see what I'm doing on camera, and they're like, Misha, come on, man, pull it together. And I'm like, that's not there. Somebody's touching my gonads. Misha said yesterday that he had a hard time filming. Did you pull any pranks on him while you were guys filming? Who was this? Misha. That we had a hard time filming. No, he said that he had a hard time filming. Yesterday? Like this, yeah, yesterday or like On Friday, ago. his one and only day this month. <laughs> um, well... Get paid for this, Misha. I have no friends here. <laughs> We're all foul. Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. <laughs> well, Jared and Jensen, um, my first impression, actually, my first impression of them was completely false. Um, no, 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 no. I thought, oh, these are really nice guys. <laughs> Oh, these are really cool, smart human beings. Like, these are people I'd like to be friends with. <laughs> Obviously, over time, you get to know them. And you realize that you were right. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's what you get for taking too long of a pause. <laughs> uh, did he mention anything that might have occurred from you? He just said it was horrible. From me? <laughs> what? He said it. Clutched his nethers. Clutched his nethers. You have really enough there to clutch. Well, let's see. Tweezed his nethers. <laughs> Delicately pinched. Uh, let's just say that he didn't clutch them fast enough. Anyway, having 
lived through that and knowing the experience of how traumatic that is, when Alex <laughs> came along and started to get abused by you guys, I was like, sweet, somebody, finally, somebody, and I just jumped right on board. And I was like, well, I do have to say that that day, that, that, that um, wonder, uh, the horrible day, um, it, it got, it was so, he, he was, he was such a whipping post that it, it got so fun that everybody started to join in. So much so that our B camera operator, Brian Rose, had the camera on his shoulder, was filming Misha, I was standing directly next to him, and Brian, in the middle of the tape, just decided to just take his shorts off. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's the right, that's the right. What are you boys doing in here? Pudding! All right, come on you two. And Misha's like, you too? Really? And Brian's like... <laughs> that was the day that people drove over from the production offices to watch. Yes. Oh, that's right, yeah. They were like, oh, it's... It's, it's on, it's, guys. It's Kill Misha Day. Game on. <laughs> and and that's, that's when I was like, okay, this may have... This yeah. may have and you know what my control. favorite part of that day was? When we turned around and the camera was on you guys, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these guys. I'm gonna get that. So I made a paper airplane, and I threw it, and it just went like, straight through the floor. Right? So I don't, know, I don't know what's better, the fact that, that you thought, I'm gonna get them, I'm going to make a paper airplane, and throw it at them. Or the fact that that amazing plan of just sweet revenge <laughs> went like this. I mean, you really, you really knocked it out of the park with that one. I really did. Woo. Yeah. Let's not talk about this anymore. We can do it. We like this version of Cass, and I'm happy he's not interrupting me right now because I want to tell you about him. He's soft hands, small, gen hands. small, gentle. This is a Benjamin's blade. We have to go. You know what? <laughs> I almost You're almost made there, it. man. Did the bunker's warding just fail? Did the bunker's warding? <laughs> Part of um, have you previously filmed or that's coming up in the next season? What's the most challenging thing for you? About uh, uh, what? What? Sorry. Uh, so, what's the worst part about working with Jared and Jensen? <laughs> Um, well, where do I begin? Um, <laughs> hunker down, and I'll tell you. We had a rough day of shooting recently. Um, and, um, so there's a, there's a new, um, new person working on the show. His name is Alex. Um, he's great. He's very sweet. Like, how utterly abusive it really is. Like, this poor, poor guy is like, like 
good trying to do his best and wants to like, you know, make the first impression and and he's just being, you know, undermined at every turn. And it was it was so exhilarating for that not to be me. <laughs> you need to keep fighting. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm dying here. Hey. Hands on your hands in your hair. Hands in your Come on, Ruve you. Come on, move you flying. What is yeah, it? Ruve. Jeez. Hey. Dying or something. Hey guys. It's a big moment for me. Balls. So Balls. <laughs> that I that I couldn't help but join you. <laughs> um and so Nina, our director uh, on that episode, um, was, she was the director right before Richard Spade was directing the current episode. Um, she's just amazing. She's just amazing. And she was like, okay, cut. And we were like halfway through a take. She said, cut. Okay, Jared, Jensen, Misha, you're wrapped. And we were like, wait a minute. That we're, we're not at all done with this scene. And she said, I don't care. Go home. <laughs> uh, and apparently, after that, he, he, he delivered an Emmy-worthy performance. It was incredible. <laughs> All of this emotion poured out of him. Um, so anyway, I know from, from uh, first experience that uh, working on set without the boys, like having somebody like Robin, our, our, our on-set props, reading the lines instead of Jared, for instance, is a godsend. Um, so I can say the most challenging thing is just trying to do a scene with Jared and Jensen. I'm not judging you. I'm jealous. What are you on? I'm on a chair, on the floor, on the planet Earth. You are so stoned, man. No, I'm not stoned. I mean, it's all starting to feel like a blur now. Um, pretty much from halfway through the first episode, uh, I think I laughed at like a fart joke or a dick joke, or a dick joke so it's just kind of been uh, kind of downhill from there. You didn't want to switch up the duds? Just looked like a pedophile. <laughs> that is not nice! <laughs> that easy! You didn't want to switch up the duds? Put on something a little bit more casual, you know? Go easy on him, he's a idiot. Oh. Yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as they saw how easy a target I was to laugh at pretty much anything, um, it's kind of just been game on for them ever since. Uh, Misha 2.0 I've been dubbed, so... <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>